Hi, today we're just going to take a look at the Ontario uh, Spec Plus Tonto knives. So let's start with the Tonto 6. This was the SP12. This knife, as the name suggests, is a 6 inch blade, Tonto 6. The next one was the Tanto, let's try and get this into short. This is the Tanto 8, and that has an 8 inch blade. And this was known as the SP 13. Then moving up to the Tanto 10, which as its name suggests, has a 10 inch blade. This was known as the SP-14. The only difference between the shorter bladed knives out of the three is that the 10 inch blade does not have the top part of the guard for the thumb rail. Other than that it's pretty much identical knives. So if you're a collector this is what you're looking for. Now I don't think the 10 inch blade uh, was a high production knife so you are not going to find them with a laser etched uh, lettering on the, on the uh, blades. These knives and shot are all part of the original runs before they moved over to the laser etch. So that also helps you differentiate what uh, the age of the knife is. All right. Let's have a look at this. So I just wanted to throw in some comparisons here. K-Bar also made an 8-inch... Tanto knife, they did theirs with a partial serration. This was the number 1245 pattern. I don't know if you can see in Shotcha, but the um, Ontario has a slightly thicker blade than the K bar. I haven't quite made up my mind which is the favorite. The elements of both that I I like. Um, then let's okay, let's jump, let's jump into K bar, but uh, K bar then came out with the model. Let me go down to this. This is the model 1266. Which they marketed, which they marketed as um, a modified Tanto. So I do like the the uh, the twelve sixty six. I think it's a that's quite a wicked looking blade. I, I do like that. And what else did K Board do? K Bar also bought out one of their minis as a little um, serrated Tonto knife. Anyway, that's just a little bit about the Tontos.